my neighbor moved in last year and we got along just fine I guess him and his girlfriend got back together that's fine but he and I we just stopped being like neighbor really like howdy neighbor whatever April I get a harassing message on Facebook um, where I learned the name of his girlfriend I'd even I wouldn't have even known what she looked like been about with with Dan and well you could have his sorry ass or he was like something like that and I was just like so confused and it took me a little bit and and I responded back that saying that I was confused and I'm like you know what I don't even want to know what's going on don't ever harass me again and I blocked her it took me a little bit and then I realized Dan that's that's the only guy that I know with that name so give a screenshot of everything send it right over to him going guessing this is your girl she's lovely I'm chronically sick which Dan knows I'm disabled d d um, I get very very sick I I want to stay far far away from me I don't know what's going on you guys do you I won't hesitate to you know file for a protective order my health can't handle that harassment continued so finally I filed for a protective order the next day was this and I happened to have two friends over which never happens so that was fate and I I actually forced those two guys I'm like will you guys back me up because I saw that there was this kid they had to get together and that's where this kid was four-wheeling right into my front yard like way inside my front yard can't really hear it well but we we could hear the kid had no idea that that was not his property so that poor kid didn't know that he was doing something wrong I'm just thinking just bad words to, to say to my neighbor because it basically throwing the kid under the bus of like he's a kid I could hear the kid talking to Dan and they and Dan was just like oh no no don't worry about it and even when he's talking to the kid on the four-wheeler again going just for now stay on this side of the tree yeah the protective order hearing didn't go well and no one seemed interested in seeing the video and that's that's the whole reason why I posted it because I don't feel safe um, especially with the mean officer and with how raging mad he was at me um it made me scared that he was going to do something so in case I'm no longer here and my phone doesn't work anymore my videos are out and they don't disappear and so someone will see them and so they're not just lost and proof is just out there somewhere and maybe someone will get some sort of word out to someone of people being unhinged and threats the judge didn't seem to they, like they didn't seem to care that he's threatened my dog and the scariest part is like the fact he threatened my dog and my dog just adores him so to me that's just the most twisted thing what I think my dog's got the clue now that like something not good's going on over there but at the time she loves him and she's deaf and blind which he knows so she's tried to go over to purposely to see him and I've I've messaged him going like hey Dan you know let me know and so he he's kept an eye out for for her and the fact that he he held that club up and he goes you know the next time I see your dog in my yard and he holds up that like club thing and he goes she's gonna get it you know